Want to create eye-catching visuals in just seconds? Say hello to this new AI. Whether you are working on logos, posters, or fun graphics, this AI brings your ideas to life instantly. What makes it stand out? It seamlessly blends text and images. A tricky thing most AI tools can't quite pull off. All you have to do is type your idea, pick a style, and watch your creation come to life before your eyes. The tool I am talking about is Ideogram. Recently, they are launched Insane Ideogram 3.0. In this video, I am going to check the Ideogram 3.0 capabilities with different examples. Ready to take your creativity to the next level? Give Ideogram 3.0 a try today. First, we will head over to the Ideogram AI website. As of this video, you can create an account and log in using either a Google or Apple account. I will go ahead and click Continue with Google and log in. After logging in, you will land in the Explore section where you can browse a live gallery of images created by Ideogram users. Let's click on a random image which opens the Images Details page. You will notice four variations of each image which you can scroll through by clicking on the thumbnails. You will also see the prompt used to create the image. Great for inspiration. Just below, there's more info like resolution, creation date, the model used for generation, and the seed details. Clicking on the three-dot icon opens a menu where you can download the image in JPEG format. Free users can download images at 70% quality. And to get 100% quality, you will need to upgrade. At the top of the Ideogram AI website, you will see a text box where you can enter your prompts. A prompt is basically your ideas and thoughts written out in text. The more detailed and clear your prompt is, the better the AI will understand your concept and generate an image that closely matches what you envision. I have already typed out a prompt, so I will right-click and paste it into the text box. Next, let's check out the settings on the just below the prompt box. The first option is visibility has two options, public and private. If public is turned on, everyone can see your image and uses your prompt. If the private mode is enabled, only you can see your generations. Keep in mind though that the private option is only available on paid plans. Next option is aspect ratio. In the aspect ratio section, there's a drop-down menu where you can choose different dimensions like square, horizontal rectangle, or vertical rectangle. Next, the model selection and render speed. In the model section, you can select from different versions of Ideogram, with version 3.0 being the latest as of this tutorial. In the render speed, you have the three options, turbo, default, and quality. The turbo is the faster and more affordable while the quality is the slower one and more detailed. Next, we have Magic Prompt MP. By default, the Magic Prompt option is turned on, which enhances your prompt to add more variety and richness to the images. It can even translate prompts into English. If you would rather not use it, you can easily switch it off. Next to it, we have Style section. From here, you can choose from options like Auto, General, Realistic, Design, and Random to specify the style of your image or you can generate image with reference. Based on the style you select, your prompt will be transformed into a visually fitting creation. There's also a color palette section with a drop-down list of color options, where the colors listed first will have the strongest influence on your image. Next, you will also find options like seed numbers and negative prompts. For this example, I will select the realistic option and click the generate button. My prompt is added to the queue and after a short wait, four thumbnails of the generated images appear in the lower right corner. To view them in a larger size, I click on one of the images. Four variations have been generated and they all look impressive. My prompt was to generate an image of realistic beautiful woman and as you can see, Ideogram 3.0 understood it perfectly. The images are exceptionally well aligned with my concept. I will go ahead and download one of these images. Now, I will clear my previous prompt. 
For the second example, let's challenge Ideogram 3.0's ability to generate car images. I have a prompt for a Lamborghini ready, so I will right click and paste it into the text box. In the style section, I will select the general option. Without making any changes to the settings, I click generate. My prompt is added to the queue and after a brief wait, the Lamborghini images appear as thumbnails in the lower right corner. To view the Lamborghini images in full size, I click on one of them. The results are exceptional. My prompt was to generate a stunning eye-catching Lamborghini and Ideogram 3.0 has delivered an impressive creation. I will go ahead and download one of them. Now I will clear the previous prompt and challenge Ideogram 3.0's ability to create 3D images. I have already got a prompt typed out for this, so I will right click and paste it into the text box. In the style section, I will select auto option. Without changing any other settings, I click generate. My prompt is added to the queue again and after a brief wait, the 3D style thumbnails appear in the lower right corner. To view them in full size, I click on one of the images. Once again, all the images look quite impressive. My prompt this time was to generate an image of a wedding couple and Ideogram 3.0 has interpreted it in a truly unique and beautiful way. I am really excited about these images. I will go ahead and download one of them. I will clear my previous prompt. For the fourth example, we will put Ideogram 3.0's text generation capabilities to the test. I already have a text-based prompt typed, so I will right-click and paste it into the text box. In the lower left corner, I will select the design option. Without making any changes, I click Generate and my prompt is added to the queue once again. After a short wait, the thumbnails of my text-based image appear in the lower right corner. To view the images in a larger size, I click on one of them. The text has been generated correctly. My prompt was to create my YouTube channel name AI Future Byte with a water droplet effect and Ideogram 3.0 has done a pretty good job capturing that idea. With a few tweaks, I am sure future generations will bring even better results. Now, let's talk about credit system. Let me explain how the credit system works. If you generate images in turbo mode, it will cost 2 credits, for default mode 4 credits and in quality mode 6 credits deducted for each generation. At the time of this video, when you create an account, you get 10 free credits to generate images. You can view all of Ideogram's available plans by clicking the upgrade option. Did you find this tutorial helpful? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Smash that like button and share this video with others. This is just a tiny drop in the endless ocean of tutorials we are uploading on this channel. If you are into AI, you have come to the right place. Subscribe now and hit the notification bell so you never miss a future tutorial. Remember, AI is the future, so embrace it today. See you in the next tutorial.